Okay, scrapper and scrapperettes, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna tear down this Pentium computer. We're gonna do this for the uh, beginners, the people who are just starting to get into scrapping e-waste for gold or whatever their ambitions are. And hopefully I'll share a few secrets with them and we'll get some views on this video. So yeah, this is a, a Pentium and it was for Windows XP, which is eh, kind of older. So we'll start by uh, turning her around here. Oh look, at there's a note telling people how to start it up. This came from one of my uh, e-waste pickups and uh, And we'll see if we can get her taken apart here and I'll kind of explain the different parts and where the gold is and how much gold is there and what you might expect because if you uh, are going into e-scrap and it's not just going to be all about the gold you're going to get all kinds of commodities out of these things from scrap iron to aluminum to copper wire different grades of copper wire so yeah it's uh it's a fun thing and you have to kind of decide if you're going to do it as as a hobby or if you're going to do it as a side gig or or if you're going to go head over heels and and do it full time so here you go here's your first big piece of steel Oh look, we got CDs inside this thing. We got CDs inside her. Well this thing just looks like it's gonna be fun, huh? Well look at it, it's attached there. They got it tied right in there. Okay, what are those? Micros. Huh, I bet you this was for that POS system that I took apart in one of my other videos. So anyways, when you take these apart, the first thing you gotta do is, uh, is just get rid of all the wires, what I, I try to do, and get the power supply out of it. And uh, yeah. That wasn't even attached on the other end. With these cables, some of uh, the older ones, they, they have gold pins inside here. And uh, some guys, if you're into micro scrapping, will cut those off and open them up. We can maybe go into that in a different video. So yeah, it's uh, it's not real hard work, and uh, the main thing you got to do and remember is you're going to have a lot of different things to keep separate and sort out and and sell off and at different times. So you're going to need a place to to do some storage. It's it's not like you open these up and take out a, a piece of gold and, and and put it in a drawer or or a shoebox. All right, we'll just break them tabs off to get those out of there. All right. So now these little plastic things, how do those come out of there? Looks like it comes out just like that. You're gonna get a lot of this stuff too, so you're gonna need to find a place to get rid of plastics and uh, finding a recycler for those can be really difficult and depending upon where you live it uh, it may wind up just going into the landfill all right let's get this cover of the heat sink off of here 
It's got them funny screws or I'd use the screw gun. They're not really security screws, but they're they're just kind of different. Windows 95. So yeah, I wonder what kind of chip we're gonna have in here. There's uh, a lot of different chips, and one of the uh, one of the things that new new e-way scrappers they they see the chips and and they think there's just a ton of gold in them, and uh, in reality that's not really true. Um, <coughs> Okay, here's our heat sink. Can we get that out of there? I'm gonna have to, there we go. Looks like it's a copper aluminum heat sink. There you go, there's a fan there. All right, so you got a copper heat sink here and getting them off of there can be a real bummer. I've tried and I've never really been very successful Let's see if we can just... It does not appear like it's going to. It looks like it goes through that. So anyways, you can sell these as uh, copper aluminum and that's usually what you wind up doing with them because it just ain't worth the time and effort to go through and, and try to separate the two. So it looks like this board here is a small motherboard and it's got uh, a chip in here which comes out like so it's pinless this chip for gold recovery doesn't even make the top 15 if you uh, look at the top 15 you're based on gold content of CPU chips. The number one chip you're gonna run into, hopefully someday, maybe, I've never gotten one, is the Pentium Pro Plastic. It's a black chip, and uh, that particular CPU chip has like 0 0.55 grams of gold in it. And then if you, go down to number 15 for the most gold, you're gonna have 0 0.17 grams in the i960, the Intel i960 chip. So don't be fooled because it looks like a lot of gold. There really isn't a lot of gold. It takes a lot of them to, to make even a, a gram of gold. So anyways, that's what I know about those. All right, let's continue on here. I'm gonna just snip these wires just to get them out of, out of the way here because there's there's probably some gold in, in those uh, USB ports there. So as you can see, you're gonna wind up with a lot of a lot of wire to sell, which you're probably gonna wind up selling your, your wire is gonna be probably sold locally at your local scrap yard, along with your aluminum and your aluminum heat sinks, and uh, and of course your your steel. That's probably all gonna get sold locally. Um, if you want to maximize your your money that you're gonna get. Here's a secret. You wanna check out boardsort.com. Of all the places I've checked and the hours I've spent scouring the internet for places to sell the uh, commodities that we get out of these, boardsort has been the best place, best prices that I've found in the United States. So if you're a scrapper in the United States, Board sort. Board sort is going to be your friend. So be sure to check that website out 
and uh, yeah so let's uh, see what we got here we got a little board and another little piece of wire all right let's get these cards out of here come on these are what they call gold finger boards because they have these little gold fingers here now if you're going to be selling the board sort which i highly suggest that you do they pay more without these little little brackets on them which uh everybody thinks that you know oh sell them by the pound why why take those off and uh well they they've got it figured out to a t because they know and they they pay less if you have this bracket on it so you want to take that off for a number of reasons one it makes it harder to pack them up into a box into a into a uh you know, if it fits, it ships from the post office box. Uh, so you want to make sure that you can get in as many as you can when you ship them over to board sort, because that's uh, a key. Unless you get tons of them and you can send them by pallet with uh, with a semi trailer, that that'd be good. Or if you happen to be lucky and you live close to board sort where you can take a little road trip and just drive your commodities over to them, then you're golden, man. That that would be awesome. Unfortunately, I'm about 600 and something miles away from board sort here. And uh, in the past, I've sent them, a, you know, complete pallets full of, of scrap, laptops, power supplies, you know, all, all the different things that they buy. Take this one out. It's another gold finger card. Now they'll buy them if uh, you want to get more into micro scrapping. They'll buy them if you take a tin shears or whatever you have and and cut those fingers off. You want to cut just, just along the edge. You don't want to cut the gold and you're going to save those. You can sell them to board sort. I think they pay like $40 a pound for just the gold fingers and still sell them the board. But uh, yeah, if you're a micro scrapper, you can, you, can, you can trim those and save them up. And there are people around the country that will do what they call toll refining. So these are smaller guys that do smaller batches of of refining to get the gold out of them and uh, if you save up enough of it you can send them your material and they will refine it and send you back either money or actual gold so that's something to know about and uh, maybe in a future video I'll share some of these but uh, then again, maybe I won't because there, there ain't very many of them in the country. And if you try to go to the big, the big refiners like in Chicago, they want 5,000 pounds of, of boards or whatever in order to even do your, your scrap. And uh, I've seen very mixed reviews on, on those companies. You know, a lot of times uh, the people say, oh, the first load we sent was really good and, and the amount was seemed fair and we got a lot, of, a lot of return. And then the second load was like totally different and we got barely as half of what we did. And the more we shipped them, the less return we got. So... Uh, so yeah, sometimes it's just best to sell the boards right to board sort. Obviously, you're not getting the the best, most value out of it that you possibly could. But then again, you aren't dealing with with having to ship it to Chicago or New York or Pennsylvania. So yeah, another 
little board, gold finger boards, and memory sticks. Memory sticks are about the easiest, most, the second most valuable thing. First, first value is your CPUs, especially the older ones that are, are uh, ceramic, like this here, this Pentium Pro, it's a ceramic. It's the third most valuable of all the uh, CPUs out there. There's about 4.5 uh, grams of gold in one of these, so it takes a little more than two of these to make one gram of gold after you, the gold is recovered from these. So yeah, so CPUs and memory is going to be your your go after items and what's nice is they don't take up a lot of room and you can save them up and uh, then maybe down the road have them toll refined or whatever all right let's continue here with the see if we can get this motherboard out of here there seems to be a couple more screws somewhere is holding it there's one hiding right there where'd my good screwdriver go here it is. So yeah, just got to get all the screws out of it and it should pop right out of there. Still another one holding here somewhere. There it is. So yeah, scrapping uh, can be fun and if you get into e-scrapping, you're going you're gonna to wind up being a, a full-fledged scrapper because of all the different commodities that come in it, you know, here's here's aluminum and uh, you know aluminum here. So yeah, you're gonna you're gonna get a lot. Um, as far as motherboards go and gold recovery, there really isn't a lot on them for actual gold recovery, and you're better off. I've found over the years that you're better off to just sell the boards to board sort straight out. Don't worry about gold recovery off of these. They're just, it's just too much. It's, you know, even the, the smaller toll refiner guys aren't interested in really in, in refining them because it's, it's such a, a difficult process. Um, as you get into it, you'll find out about chips if you go that far if you want to be a micro scrapper you can uh, these gold cornered BGAs um, have pretty good gold in those but uh, generally all my motherboards I sell right directly to board sort so I hope that helps you and you gotta always take the batteries out Try to do it when you take the board right out of the computer because otherwise you'll forget and you won't know which ones have batteries and which ones don't and all that kind of fun stuff. So there. Now let's see if we can get all these drives out of here. Looks like we got two hard drives going on in here. Or maybe one's a floppy, I don't know. Oh, we got our screw down here. Okay, that hard drive comes out. You can see it's, uh, how many gig is it? 160 gigabytes. So it's, it's not worth resale. And you're gonna have uh, the board on these. You can sell the board sort. And uh, this one is, uh, I believe we call it a SATA. It uh, doesn't have all the pins like you'll find on a lot of the other ones. Unfortunately, these boards are only going to pay like six bucks a pound. And uh, the other ones pay like, uh, whew, I can't remember. I think it was like 13 or $14 a pound. So, yeah. 
So you gotta take those off. I suggest that you take them off and save them separate anyways. So yeah, the older, the older hard drive boards are gonna be better. And uh, just a matter of which you wind up getting. So if you're gonna be in this crazy little business, business or hobby or whatever you wanna call it, um, everybody always asks me, where do you get the stuff? Where, where, where do you get the old computers from? And that is a simple, answer to that question is you got to advertise and uh, if you advertise it will come <laughs> the uh, just let people know that you that you're doing it and uh, and your phone will start ringing and because people need to get rid of this stuff and if you you know a lot of places they if they take it to have it recycled, a lot of places will charge them. Even for computers, they'll charge them, which doesn't make any sense. I mean, you... so I hope that helps you. And uh, yeah, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Um, so this is your DVD player. And uh, the board that's just under under here, those boards are uh, selling for five dollars a pound right now at boardsort.com. I'll just take this off just to show you. If you've never opened one of these up before, I opened one of these up in one of my other videos, and it was not a DVD player. It looked like one, but it wasn't it was something weird it was some kind of a tape player <laughs> which uh, really screwed up my video and made me miss my two minute challenge so yeah if you're new to my channel why don't you uh, please go to my home page and take a look around and uh this is just held in by that little clip right there comes right out of there So there's a board. These are $5 a pound to board sort. And then a lot of guys uh, will tear into these a little further, get this little motor out of here and this little brass shaft and that motor there. The rest of it, they pretty much throw right into shred. Hope this video ain't getting a lot too long here. Um, it's a little floppy disk drive. I've seen a lot of them, even like the shark, shark scrapper down in Florida. He just throws these right into his shred pile. And I really don't know why, because it does have some gold plated pins on it and this little motor, which would have, probably have some brass on that possibly. And uh, yeah. So I don't know why, maybe it's his time constraints or whatever, but, but I would at least myself scrap them down to the point where you could, uh, you could at least get that board out of there and save those gold pins. Yeah, gold pins, we like gold pins. Come on, screw. Get in there. There we go. A lot of screws. They don't want you to get in this baby. Come on. Come on there, baby. Come on. Well, that's probably why a shark scrapper doesn't like these and just throws them into shred because there's even more screws that gotta come out of there. Down here, these screws. Those screws gotta come out of there. And 
that's probably why he doesn't waste his time taking these apart. But hey, if you got time, there we go. So it's a pretty tiny board, but it uh, it does have uh, the gold pins in it. And uh, actually, if you're into micro scrapping and depopulating boards and taking chips off of them, there's a chip right there that you could scavenge off of there. And uh, come on, get off of there. So yeah, there's a little board with gold pins in it. Other than that, it's a low grade board, but uh, you can save those and take them off. This little motor pops out with just taking these two screws off. So yeah, I hope if you're new, you'll enjoy taking stuff apart. I always save this container here and uh, I throw all the, all the scrap in there. See there's the motor with a little brass on it. So yeah, cause you're gonna wind up with a lot of a lot of scrap metal when you start uh, really digging in and and taking stuff apart. You're gonna you're gonna find that you got a lot of a lot of scrap metal to haul into the scrap yard. And I just like to fill these up with them. You can stack them up in a big stack, and uh, they don't take up a lot of room that way. So yeah, that's. That's what I do with the shells, and then uh, just take them to the yard and sell them that way. These can be a bummer sometimes getting these out, other times, other times not. Once you get that side up, you can just pretty much, usually, just slide it right out. And then these. If they got four of them rubber grommets, sometimes you don't even have to take the screws out. You just come on. There you go. All right. So we got that out of there. You can see the little brass on this little motor, and. Uh, if you want, and if you got the time, usually you save this stuff for a rainy day. All right, the battery went dead there on me. So we got a fresh battery in it, and we'll see if we can finish this, this video up. Yeah. Oh, come on. She don't want to come loose. It's not the exact right size. And I don't know if I have one handy. So anyways, you get the point. You take those two screws out and this little motor will come out of there. You save this little piece of brass and the motors go into your motor bucket. Same with this motor here. You can just, these are held in with these, these clips here. You can just, uh, you just break them clips off of there. And, uh, those motor, that motor should just fall right out of there. If it did. There you go, a little tiny motor. So yeah, that's uh, about it for a computer. And I hope you learned something about chips and memory sticks and all that fun stuff. Remember not to leave your tools in there or somebody at the scrap yard will be be overjoyed with you and uh, yeah hope you'll look around the channel and uh, check out some of my playlists you might find my two minute Tuesdays a little entertaining they go a lot faster than what this video did and uh, yeah consider subscribing too all right I'm just gonna clean this stuff up 
and uh, and we'll go from there. Okay, scrappers, remember, if you're a cat lover, pounce on that like button. If not, just give it a delicate click. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Enlighten someone, hit that share button, and, and get yourself some scrapper gear at scrapmeister.com. Plus, I suggest that you watch one of the videos on screen now. And remember, until the next video, be good.